Hey guys, my name is Devante, and I sacrificed my time so you don't have to. Logic has, Logic has left the building. Logic has completely felt us. It's all emotions. It's all feelings. It's all in the moment. Just, just tirade and and tantrums and getting on the floor and smashing your hands on the floor and not thoroughly logically thinking about what you're saying currently at the moment in regards to the situation at hand think before you re there's a lot of people right now on social media crying i mean crying about logan paul winning the united states championship now hopefully it's within the context of professional wrestling and once you get off of twitter once you get off of social media once you put your cell phone down you're going back to your real life and doing you know actual substantial things right hopefully everything that you're doing on twitter isn't your whole entire life because what what a horrible existence so let, let, let's 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 let me let, because I'm again, I keep doing this lately. I'm, I am pulling the wagon before those. I am buying the car without having any gasoline money. Let's let's talk about this for the moment. Let's 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 talk about this. Okay, Logan Paul won the United States Championship at the Saudi Show, Crown Jewel. I actually did a review on that earlier today. Go some hair on your balls and go watch the video. And just the onslaught of people now granted i'm not gonna sit here and pretend that 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 that, that there aren't people who are excited about logan paul winning the united states championship because honestly i don't think they even look that far into it they're just here in the moment and they're understanding that this, if for nothing else this is different if for nothing else it's a change of pace if for nothing else you may say to yourself okay there's there's a larger plan at hand which we'll talk about a little bit later on in the video but the amount of people who are on Twitter right now bawling their eyes out because Logan Paul won the United, won the United States Championship, it's 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 mind-boggling to me. Look, as a matter of fact, I love doing this actually because it's so fun to actually stare at people and point at them and laugh. I, 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 it's 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 an uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It, it's it's an old time for me. What, what's the word? Um, uh, not old-fashioned, not old time. Um, it's a pastime for me. There we go. Just went for R word, R word. Read dirt. Here, let me read some of these comments for you. Let me read some of these tweets for you. I'm not going to uh, link them or anything like that because I don't need you weirdos going over there and, like, you know, harassing them because yeah, it's fun to pick at weirdos. For, it's fun to pick at the weeboos. Here, hang on for a second. Uh, Who did he win it from? That's actually hilarious. Like, wow. Okay, great. Yeah, totally, dude. Such a wrestling fan. Who did he win it from? I'm angry. You, mm-hmm. Yeah, totally, dude. Totally so angry. You don't even know who he wanted from. Yeah, totally, totally. Uh, take the major. Okay, no, that's some bot nonsense. Remember? Okay, we're okay, okay, excited. Uh, let me scroll a bit further now. Uh, where is it? Nothing is given apart from the gold knuckle duster. Okay, that's cool. You got some kayfabe stuff inside there. You deserve nothing though. He's finished. Uh, let's see what else. Nothing personal, but can he lose the title very quickly, please? I have never been so disappointed in an entire pay per view event. Event. Holy crap! Holy Jesus Christ! No, thank you. He needs to back his. I'm gonna read this in English. He needs to go back to his radio show where he belongs and stay out of WWE. This is this is the worst decision Triple H has ever has ever done. This is the equivalent of David Arquette winning the WCW title. Yeah, because David Arquette can actually go in there and wrestle Raven Stereo for 15 minutes, right? Yeah, totally. Yeah, logic, logic, man, embarrassing. Pipe down. <laughs> that, those are three separate comments, by the way. Uh, let's see. Um, oh, we got some cool. Oh, look at this one. Not worthy not worthy who talks like this boo another part-time champion we're going to talk about that later on in the video but you're kind of getting the the generalization here right you're you're understanding what what these comments are alluding. You, you you get it right you're not you're not dumb dumb ds dumb dumb you're not dummies okay you understand what this is alluding to logan paul obviously should not be united states champion because he's not a real wrestler <laughs> He ain't going out there full time. Eh. He ain't putting his body on the line every week like a dumbass. Eh, 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 eh. No, okay, look, logic, folks, logic. Think about the things that are happening in the future that you will still get what you want in the end of the day, and it will make so much more sense and be so much more valuable in so many 
ways. So let's just get the let's just let's just get the obvious out of the way. Okay, it's pretty clear what path they're going down towards. Okay, you know what path they're going down towards. Obviously, L.A. Knight, Logan Paul, United States Championship. It's pretty goddamn obvious the path that they're headed down towards. Would you rather, I don't know, Logan Paul lose the United States, or not, let's just say, not even win the United States champion. Let's just say him, I don't know, let's just say Rey Mysterio dropping to somebody else because Santos Escobar, because Santos Escobar screws him over, right? Someone else wins the United States championship. You think it'd be a bigger deal for uh, uh, LA Knight to win the United States championship off of nobody compared to a Logan Paul? Like, logically speaking, do you think that's actually going to be the case? When Logan Paul inevitably loses that United States Championship, would you like it to be against LA Knight where the probability of it being at WrestleMania skyrockets? Or would you rather it be on a real wrestler? Er, look at my real wrestler singlet. Or would you rather be on that guy and that guy wrestles LA Knight on some random episode of SmackDown or some B pay-per-view show and then LA Knight gets left off the next pay-per-view show nine times out of ten to make room for, you know, actual... And I'm not saying LA Knight's not a star, but I'm saying, though, you know, Sami, Sami Zayn's supposed to be a star, right? But he wrestled for the pre-show. I'm just giving an example here, right? Nah, it, it just logically speaking, that's the matchup that they're setting. They're se they're setting their eyes that they're they're aiming at currently right now. You just want to just take that away, right? Because logic says that emotions causes commotions in your head, and you have the rage right now, right? It, it, it makes no sense at all. No, 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 no. You think that's the only thing? No, no, no. We got we got some more logic input inside this, okay? Logan Paul, by far, by default you can say whatever you want within the context of professional wrestling but let's just keep it outwardly speaking the most popular person in wwe by default because he's logan paul now you don't have to like it you don't have to like the guy certainly i don't i mean we're talking about a scammer over here we're talking about a person who ruined people's lives and refuses to pay the money back and after he said he was going to pay them back i'm not even sure if he still has it but i'm pretty sure he has not paid them back yet and he done it multiple times with multiple scams and multiple people yeah, I don't like the guy also, but at the same time, like whether or not, whether or not I like him or hate him, unless he's not doing something to kids or robbing the or robbing the elderly, or which I guess he kind of technically did with the scam stuff. But you get what I'm trying to say. As far as physically speaking, he didn't touch any kids or hit any kids or do anything bad or he didn't murder anybody or rape any women or any of that kind of stuff, right? Like, I'm perfectly fine with someone who I don't know representing WWE. Especially because he's a hill. That just makes it even 10 times better. That's the correct alignment with all this nonsense that's going on in his personal life. Like, why does it matter in the end of the day? And it's like the whole MJF thing that people kept going around saying, oh, MJF, he's a shitty worker. He doesn't know what he's doing in the ring. And then he goes out there and he outperforms Kenny Omega. Yeah, you sit there and you want to pretend that, oh, Kenny Omega is such God, he's such a God tier talent. He's such a God tier talent, Mag. Mm, mm, he's such a God tier talent. And he got outdone by MJF. And then you look at Logan Paul, and let's face facts, the, dude's, the dude is an athletic freak. The dude is probably twice the size of some of the wrestlers already right there, twice as buff. Can't tell you legally how he got there, but I'm just speaking on his physical appearance. Twice as buff, twice as tall, twice as smooth, twice as athletic. The dude fits the billion of a professional wrestler as far as looks are, con are considered. He has the game all the way, he has it down packed. He understands how to talk on the microphone. He can work, which is something that you do not see out of a lot of celebrities. He can absolutely work. He's a great representative for the United States Championship. Yet you just want to take it away from him because he doesn't fit your proper criteria what a professional wrestler is. Is that is that a right? Is that you? You're passing judgment right now. Look at you. It's, it's even funnier. And yeah, I'm going to go there because you have a bunch of professional wrestling fans who are usually, you know, towards a little bit of the left wing, you know, the tolerance crowd, the 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 accept everybody for who they are. We want to see we want to see majors wrestling in the rain because they don't get opportunities except them for who they are. OK, cool. Then accept Logan for what he is. Then he's a professional wrestler. He went out there and he killed through a Rey Mysterio tonight. He killed through a Ricochet the other night or last couple of months, whatever the case may be. All right, he killed through with Seth Rollins. He killed through with Roman Reigns. He killed through with The Miz. What, what's, what's your excuse? You have no excuse at the end of the day. And 
Look at the United States Championship. Imagine how much exposure that's going to get now. How many followers does Logan Paul have? Actually, let me scroll back up. How many followers does Logan Paul have on Twitter? Just for an example. Let me see something. He has over 6.9 million subs, followers, right? How many subs does he have on YouTube? I think he had around like 20 to 25 million subs, something like that. I'm not really... I don't really care much for his YouTube channel, but I'm pretty sure it's something along the lines of that, right? You understand that's, that uh, I'm looking at the numbers right now for WWE. They have 13.5 million followers. You understand that Logan Paul has half of those numbers by himself against a conglomerate like the WWE. Logan Paul has half those subscribers or followers or however you refer to however, however Twitter works. And you want to just give that all the way, all the notoriety that can go on uh, LA night, and then Logan Paul probably disappear for a little bit. You want to give up all that notoriety for the United States Championship, the notoriety that can go on LA night, a wrestler who's there every week, right? Because, of course, you have such a problem with Roman Reigns, right? You have a problem so much with part-timers every goddamn week. Oh, no, another part-timer, yada, 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 yada. But I guarantee you, you were one of those motherfuckers in the crowd or one of the motherfuckers behind the TV screen chanting your little heart out for Roman Reigns and L.A. Night tonight. I bet you were super excited about that, weren't you, huh? Huh? Now, I understand the criticism about, about not being there every other week, but let's just put things into perspective real quick. You can't have your cake and eat it, too. You see Roman Reigns out there tonight, and you get so excited because it's a special event because you don't see Roman Reigns wrestle every day, and you get super excited, and it makes the match feel even more special. Yet, you turn around and you bitch about him not being there every other week. Now, just stay consistent is what I'm saying. If you don't like Roman Reigns uh, showing up every week, or if you want him to show up every week, whatever the case may be, then... Be prepared to expect that his matches aren't going to feel that special coming up to the, the pay-per-view shows. Right? Right? I just don't see what's so bad about Logan Paul in the United States Championship. And not to mention, can I also say this also? Like, think about this logically, too. Like, I think by default, that now makes it so, like, Gunther is, like, going to be the most exposed, like... Uh, mid card champion in WWE currently because Logan Paul is the United States champion. So more of the focus goes on Gunther also when you think about it. You have a part time United States champion. Most of the attention goes on Gunther. Now, if you want to make a legitimate critique, it is going to be kind of weird that you have two part timers as the United States champion and the WWE champion. I can understand that argument, obviously. I can see that, okay? I can completely understand that because in the end of the day, I get it. You can't have both champions missing from the show. I get that, and hopefully they can try to find a way to correct that issue because that is going to be really, really weird. But what I'm saying is, at the same time, though, like I said before, just stay consistent. Just stay consistent. The shows only feel as special as they feel with Logan Paul and Roman Reigns because they don't, they're not there all the time. I'm not saying that's a good thing because in reality, WWE should be creative enough to create an environment where everything does feel special without having to take this route. I'm not saying that. But I'm saying that's the current circumstances at hand. And if you really want to see change, then, you know, you wouldn't go out of your way to give them more reasoning to want to have Roman Reigns and Logan Paul be part time and feel more special because of how you react to their matches. Right. In the end of the day, how you talk about their matches on social media in the end of the day. Don't you think that you're contributing to that also? Now, you might not see it that way, but that happens to be the case. And at the end of the day, like, who else would you put the United States Championship on currently at this moment for it to be, for it to feel that big of a deal when inevitably LA Knight takes that championship belt? Because you know it's coming. You know he's going to get that belt. Who's, who, who should hold that championship right about now? Certainly you're not going to sit here and say something like a Santos Escobar. You're not going to sit here and say Kevin Owens, for God's sakes. Damn sure you're not going to sit here and say put it back on Austin Theory. It was the right decision. If for nothing else, Triple H is in charge now, right? It's not Vince. At least see where it goes. Like, give it some time and see where it goes. And then if it ends up being complete and utter shit within the next couple of months, then you have every right to bitch about it. Even though I will say still kind of hold out a little bit because WrestleMania is right there also. <sighs> no, look how I'm talking right now. Everybody's like, oh, Devontae, you're such a show for WWE. Yeah, Patooey. 
it is what it is. I don't care. But let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below in regards to this whole conversation. Do you believe that it was the right decision to put the championship on Logan Paul? Do you see where I'm coming from? Again, if you have problems with Logan Paul being champion, then don't support it then, right? Wasn't that the whole thing about everybody in regards to John Cena back in the days? You guys keep saying you hate John Cena without understanding that all WWE cares about is a reaction. So you say John Cena sucks. They don't care. They just like the fact that you're saying words and loudly out of your stupid pie hole that you call a mouth that's usually how that goes you know so hey at the end of the day man it's up to you personally i'm willing to see where this goes as always my name is devante and i'll catch you guys later deuces p eyes